35 years. That's how long Prince of Persia has been around, and its impact on gaming is undeniable. From its humble beginnings in 1989 to the modern iterations we see today, Prince of Persia isn't just a franchise. It's a foundation for so many elements we take for granted in today's gaming world. When the first Prince of Persia dropped, it was revolutionary. Released on the Apple Roman II, it introduced something that players had never seen before fluid, lifelike animations that came from an innovative technique called rotoscoping. Back then, the character's movements were so realistic. It felt like magic, something that had never been achieved before in a video game. Players weren't just controlling a blocky figure, they were guiding a character that moved like a real person. The stakes were high too. One wrong move and you'd fall onto spikes or be crushed by a trap. This added tension and thrill to every jump and sword fight, setting the bar for platformers for years to come. But the franchise didn't just stop there. The original game was quickly ported to every platform imaginable at the time, making it a hit across consoles and PCS alike. Its influence was huge. For many gamers, Prince of Persia became their first introduction to the platformer genre, and you can trace its DNA in countless games that followed. Fast forward to 2003, and we got Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Now this is the entry that solidified Prince of Persia as a household name in modern gaming. Gone were the days of basic jumping and swordplay, now we had the ability to control time itself. The introduction of time manipulation mechanics completely transformed gameplay. You could rewind a fatal fall, freeze enemies in their tracks, and pull off insane stunts that defied physics. This blew players' minds and raised the stakes for what action-adventure games could be. Sands of Time wasn't just a game, it was a phenomenon. It set the stage for other games to follow, with its mechanics directly influencing titles like Assassin's Creed, a series that eventually took the spotlight. But let's not forget, without Prince of Persia, we might not have ever seen Assassin's Creed. The DNA of those smooth Parker sequences, acrobatic combat, and open-world design is rooted in the acrobatics of the Prince. Ubisoft perfected this formula with Prince of Persia and then carried it over to what would become one of the biggest franchises of all time. Yet like any good story, Prince of Persia had its ups and downs. The series tried out different ideas with varying levels of success. There were reboots, sequels and even a movie adaptation, but none could capture the magic of Sands of Time. Until now. This year, we saw the return of the franchise with The Lost Crown and The Rogue Prince of Persia. Both games harken back to the roots of the original 1989 masterpiece while incorporating modern elements that push the series forward. The Lost Crown introduced a Metroidvania-style adventure combining the classic platforming with smooth animations and engaging combat. It felt like the true spiritual successor we've been waiting for, a reminder of why Prince of Persia became such a massive hit in the first place. The level design, the fluidity of movement, and the ability to manipulate time all felt like a love letter to the series' origins but with a modern twist. Then, out of nowhere, we got the Rogue Prince of Persia, a 2D roguelike that kept the spirit of the original alive while embracing today's gaming trends. It's no small feat to take something classic and keep it fresh for modern audiences, but both of these games pulled it off flawlessly. Fans were ecstatic finally, Prince of Persia was back and bigger than ever. The legacy of Prince of Persia goes far beyond just its own games. Its influence is felt in titles like Tomb Raider, Uncharted, and countless indie platformers that draw from its iconic gameplay. Anytime you play a game with a focus on precise platforming, trap dodging, or intense action sequences, you can thank Prince of Persia for laying the groundwork. The way it combined puzzle solving with action, the way it made every jump and every sword swing feel critical. These are elements that became staples in modern gaming because Prince of Persia did it first. Looking forward, the future of Prince of Persia seems brighter than ever. Ubisoft has confirmed that the long-awaited Sands of Time remake is still in development. This isn't just a reboot, this is a celebration of everything that made the original game legendary. 
if it captures even a fraction of the magic of the original, we're in for something truly special. In an era where games come and go, with franchises rising and falling faster than ever, Prince of Persia has managed to stand the test of time. 35 years later, its legacy is still being felt across the industry. Whether it's in the innovative gameplay mechanics or the timeless appeal of its world and characters, Prince of Persia isn't just a part of gaming history, it's an essential pillar of it. And if the new games are anything to go by, the prince is here to stay. So, where does Prince of Persia go from here? With the success of The Lost Crown and The Rogue Prince, the stage is set for even more adventures. Maybe we'll see new stories, new characters, or even a deeper exploration of the time manipulation mechanics that made the series famous. One thing is for sure, whether you're a longtime fan or a newcomer to the series, Prince of Persia is a franchise that continues to push boundaries, and after 35 years, it's still stronger than ever.